this video, we will cover basic system maintenance. Keeping the optics clear is imperative for your system to be running at peak energy savings performance. Each set of optics has an emitter and a receiver. For the system to function properly, you want to make sure that you keep the optics clear of obstructions. If the optic sensors have an ongoing obstruction, the system will suffer from a fault and will operate the fans at 100%, thus eliminating any opportunity for energy savings. The optic sensors need to be cleaned periodically. The time between cleanings is largely dependent on the volume of grease being exhausted. Optic sensors in the kitchen with lots of grease cooking may need to be cleaned at least several times a month. Other applications may have sensors that can go several months between cleanings. If the sensors get too much buildup on the lens, an optic fault will occur, and the fans will then run at full speed until the sensors are cleaned and reset. In order to clean the optic sensors, you'll need to press the push button latches on the side of the optic box and remove the cover. Then wipe the lens of the optic circuit board with a soft damp cloth and then replace the cover of the optic box ensuring that the cable connecting the optic box cover to the optic brackets is not in front of the lens. Temperature sensors rarely need to be cleaned. If extremely large amounts of grease and other contamination build on the sensor, the probes should be brushed or wiped clean. Performing a general cleaning of the kitchen hood, hood cleaners must be careful to keep the Intel hood components dry. The optic sensors are water resistant but not waterproof. The optic box should be sealed with thick tape and plastic wrap before using high pressure water, steam or other cleaning chemicals in the hood. On top of the hood, you may find a number of Intel hood components including the air purge unit, the hood controllers, temperature probes, and control cables. These components must remain dry. If hood cleaners or anyone else needs to be on top of the hood for any reason, they must be careful to avoid stepping on these components as well as to keep them dry. The touchpad may be wiped clean, but it should not be soaked with excessive water. If the face is damaged, more care must be taken to avoid letting water get through the label to the electronic components behind the face. The hood light fixtures must be kept dry as well. Water inside a light fixture could create a short on the circuit and damage the Intel hood processor which powers the lights. If an end cabinet is present, take care to avoid getting components on the inside wet. Generally, these cabinets do not have a top cover and are completely open from the top. 